What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for this video, we will be building the mission models contained in bag 11 for the FLL Cargo Connect 2021-2022 game. Contained in this bag is the East Bridge, Center Support, and West Bridge with Latch. And in order to successfully build those, all you will be needing is this bag labeled number 11 right here. Now just before we get started, I'd like to apologize for any potential background noise or any slight variation in the lighting. With that said, let's get into the build, and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so first up, you're going to be needing two black pins, two long blue pins, and that size 9 white beam. You know that beam is size 9 because it has 9 holes. And the first thing you are going to do is insert the short side of these long blue pins into the two end holes. And then you're going to insert the two black pins in the third hole from each side. And that should look just like this. Now you'll be needing two of these white L's. And you're going to insert one onto each set of pins such that this blue pin goes through the corner hole right here. And the black pin goes through this hole next to the axle hole. So just like this. And you want to do that on both sides. And if you did that correctly, the short side of both of these L's should be facing up. And that should look just like this. Now you'll be needing a size 9 white beam. And you're going to insert that onto these two blue pins. And that should look just like this. Now you'll be needing two long blue pins and two of those size 9 white beams. And the first thing you are going to do is insert the long side of these long blue pins into this hole and this hole all the way through. So just like that. And then you are going to put one of these size 9 white beams on either side. This is now the completed center support, and it should look just like this. And now you can set that off to the side. Now you'll be needing eight of those long blue pins and two of those black frames. And now what you want to do is you want to insert the short side of these long blue pins into the two end holes on the short side of these black frames. And now I'm going to do that to the other side. So that piece should look just like this. And now I'm going to make the other one. So you should have two identical pieces that look just like this. Now you'll be needing four of these size five white beams and you are going to center one on each set of these blue pins. So if you did that correctly, the white beams should align with the long edges of that black frame. And now I'm going to do that to the other one. And both of those should look just like this. Now you'll be needing two white L's, and you will be attaching it just like this onto these two blue pins. So when you do that, you want to make sure that the end of this L aligns with the white beam that you just put on, and that the short side of that L is faced up. And now I'm going to do that to the other one. And you should have two identical pieces that look like this. Now you can go ahead and set both of these off to the side. Now you'll be needing four long blue pins and two size 11 yellow beams. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the long side of these long blue pins into the third hole from the end on both sides. All the way through. So just like that. And now I'm going to do it to the other one. So both pieces should look just like this. 
Now you'll be needing four of these black plates. And now one thing that I want to point out about these plates is that they do have a top and a bottom. So this right here is the top. It's mostly flat except for this little ridge in the middle. But if you flip it over, you see there's this hole in here. And that's how you know this is the bottom. And now with this plate top face up, you're going to insert it onto these two blue pins. And then you're going to flip it over and do the same thing on these two blue pins. Just make sure that both of these plates are top face up. And now I'm going to do that to the other one. And both pieces should look just like this. Now you'll be needing two of those gray pins, two of those blue pieces that are part pin and part axle, two of those black pins, and two of those white L's. And now on each of these L's, you want to insert the gray pin into this hole right here. And then you're going to take the black pin and you're going to insert it from behind into this hole right here. And then finally, you're going to take the axle part of this blue piece and insert it from behind into this axle hole right here. So that should look like this, and you need to make two of those. So you should have two pieces that look just like this. And now what you want to do is you want to insert the blue and black pins into these two end holes right here. So just like that. And now I'm going to do that to the other one. So both of those should look just like this. Now you'll be needing the same pieces as the previous step, two of those blue pieces that are part pin and part axle, two gray pins, two black pins, and two of those white L's. And you are going to build these parts similar to the previous step, except the L is flipped around this time. So again, gray pin into this hole right here, and then you're going to take the black pin and insert it from behind into this hole right here, and then the axle part of that blue pin will go into that axle hole. So again, just like this, and now I'm going to make the other one. So you should have two identical pieces like this. And now you're going to take these, flip them around like this, and then insert the blue and black pin into the two end holes on the other side. just like that, and now I'm going to do that to the other one. So both of those should look just like this. Now you'll be needing eight black pins, and what you are going to do is you're going to insert one into this end hole right here, and one into this hole next to this white L, and you're going to do that on both sides. So just like this, and now I'm going to do that to the other one. So both of those should look just like this. Now you'll be needing four size seven white beams, and now you're going to attach those to each set of black pins that you just put in. just like that, and now I'm going to do it to the other one. And both of those should look just like this. Now you can go ahead and pick up these pieces I told you to set aside earlier. And what you were going to do with those is you're gonna insert this gray pin right here into this beam hole right here. And now I'm going to do it to the other one. 
so you should have two identical pieces that look just like this. Now you'll be needing two white L's, and you are going to attach that just like this onto these three pins right here. Just like that. And now I'm going to do it to the other one. You should now have two identical pieces that look just like this. One of these is now your completed east bridge, so I'm going to set this one off to the side so we can continue to work on the west bridge with latch. Now you'll be needing this small blue pin, and what you're going to do is you're going to insert the long side of that pin into this center hole right here. And that should look just like this. Now you'll be needing two of those small red axles and that red elbow. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert those small red axles into the two axle holes of this elbow. Just like this. Now you'll be needing two of those 90 degree red elbows, and you will also be needing that size 3 gray axle. You can tell that it is size 3 because if you hold a beam up to it, the number of holes the axle spans is the size of that axle. In this case, you see it spans 3 holes, so it's a size 3 axle. And so what you want to do is you want to insert that axle into one of the axle holes of an elbow. And then you're going to feed that axle through the beam hole of this piece you just made. And then you're going to insert the axle hole of another elbow onto this axle right here. You just want to make sure that the two open axle holes are facing in the same direction. And that should look just like this. Now you'll be needing two of these dark gray pieces that are part pin and part axle. And you are going to go ahead and insert the axle part into these two axle holes. Just like that. Now you'll be needing that red axle piece and two red pin caps. And what you are going to do is you're going to insert one of those pin caps onto these two pins right here, all the way down. and then you're going to take this red axle piece and insert it onto this axle right here. And that should look just like this. And now finally what you're going to do is you're going to insert these two pins right here into these two beam holes right here. When you do put this on, you just want to make sure that this axle right here is above this little blue pin right here. This is now the completed west bridge with latch, and it should look just like this. Now just before we finish up this video, there is one thing that I would like to point out. If we take a look at the small bag that was contained in the big bag labeled number 11, we have quite a few extra parts. We have a gray pin, a black pin, a red pin cap, a red axle piece, and a small blue pin. If you have something similar, do not be worried. Typically they include extra pieces, usually the smaller ones. In case you happen to lose one, you will have a spare and it won't be a huge deal. All right, so here we have the east bridge, the center support, and the west bridge with latch, and those are the mission models contained in bag 11. And so that's about it for this video. Feel free to check out all our other LEGO videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video, or you can reach me on Instagram in the description below. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.